everyone, I'm Holly and welcome back to the Rainbow Extravaganza. We have one last thing to do for the Rainbow Extravaganza and that's pack the orders in the pack and chat. Now my customers do request to have their orders packed on video and for this release I had 15 requests. I'm probably going to break it up into three different videos. Alright, let's get started. Alright, this first order is going to Morgan in Mississippi. Thank you for your order, Morgan. And I am going to be including a rainbow sampler, soap sampler. We have a confetti blossom and a melon and cucumber soap. Yay, love those. We have a huckleberry danish wax melt set and the Fruity Loops wax melt set. So I'm going to go ahead and put this into a regional rate A box. And let's take a look at these real quick. I just love this sampler. I just adore it. I can't quit talking about it because I love it so much. And each one of these bars is fairly thick. It's a half bar. And so, oh, isn't that just so pretty? I love rainbows, everybody. I just love them so much. So we're going to put it down here in this regional rate A box. And this box allows the sampler to go in and a little bit more to go on the top. I have this heavy duty paper and I've got a huge roll of it and it's, I've been using it to kind of tuck around the sampler and give it a little bit of extra protection. This is pretty stiff. And so we're going to put in the soap. I think we'll put one here. This is gonna shift a little bit, so I better put in just a little bit of shred. Like so. We're gonna put this one right there. And I'm gonna put a wax melt there and a wax melt there. And then this shred is going to provide some insulation. I do have a heat notice on the website because it's just hot. And even though they stay very nice and cool, we and we even dropped them off directly at the, uh, I was going to say the airport. Why would I say the airport? The post office. We take the packages directly from here to the post office so they're not waiting outside for pickup or anything. But I just can't tell you what's going to happen in transit. So there is that heat notice on the website. And the insulation does give it very uh, good protection. I do challenge tests in my attic. And right now it's been around 130 to 140 degrees. Right outside my door here in the attic. And um, I challenge test them because they have a high melt point. They've been doing very, they're doing fine. So... That's just something to keep in mind. We don't want our packages left in a hot mailbox or in the sunshine. I mean, if you're in Arizona, it's going to be touchy anyway. So those really hot places. So we have some bergamot and honey. I think it's bergamot. Should I look up how you're supposed to pronounce that? Um, we'll just go with it. It's just a little, um, had some cubes left over from my embed batches and so I made a special soap and then this is a pina colada wax melt brittle sample we're gonna put just a some more on top of there we're going to put in the invoice and my business card I chose not to get any special cards or anything with this release but I did get stickers. Labels, I should say. They're not stickers like keepsake stickers. I'm going to have my super cute, beautiful stickers here. I absolutely love them. They make me happy every single time I pack an order. Every single time. I get this sticker and I'm like, yep, I love rainbows. Even my ring is rainbows. I don't think it there we go. There it's focused <laughs> up close on the old hand. All 
Whoa. So I'm going to take this over to my computer station. I'm going to weigh it and get it ready to ship. I'll be back for the next one. Now this order is going to Lauren in New Jersey. Thank you so much for your order, Lauren. And we have a unicorn sweet treat sugared whip soap scrub. It's so pretty. I just love it. it. Smells so good. It's amazing. We have a pink lemonade salt soap. Now funny story. My husband came up today and was doing some like consolidating. And my son is the one who's been pulling all the orders for me. So I haven't been doing it. And there's like 30 salt soaps. And I'm like, how could that be? They all sold out. So I evidently counted very, very poorly on that one. So definitely going to have to see what I could do about making sure that I'm covered for any errors and then get the rest on the website. But I, have, I just haven't had time to think about it yet. We have a melon cucumber and a sunshine and rainbow soap. So nice. And why are you not wanting to fit very well? I guess because it prefers to be there. We'll just do that. Okay. And then we have, let's see, we have a confetti blossom and a rainbow romance soap. So nice. And we'll put that one up right like that. We have a rainbow beach. Ooh, these did really well. Sold super quickly. And my friend told me that her and her husband just absolutely love that scent. So definitely gonna have to make it again sometime soon, hopefully. We'll see. And then we have a Worthy Soap. It smells so good. I love that one as well. And then let's do, how do we want to do this? Oh, I forgot something. Now, one thing about not using a box, I find that the soaps, um, I remember this from the Rainbow Extravaganza, I think in 2018, I shrank, shrank, I always do this, shrink, shrank, we did the whole shrink wrapping thing on all the soaps and they're obviously not quite as protected as they would be with a box. So I have been giving this a bit of a wrap, the huckleberry fluff. I guess I didn't really show it to you. The huckleberry fluff. And so just giving it a little wrap. This paper is really strong. Push it down to the bottom and then kind of fold it over. And that gives it quite a bit of protection there. Let me see how I want to do this. I think I'm going to, well, we'll just do that. We have enough space here. We have it like so. And then we're going to put the shred in. So funny story about the shred. When I started packing orders with this release, I had leftover shred from the last rainbow release I did. I think I did a, a small one last year. And I had yellow and all the beautiful colors. Well, when it was time for me to pack orders, or not pack orders, when it was time for me to purchase shred, I saw that I had orange, I saw that I had pink and red, and I needed to, oh, I had green, but I needed to order blue and purple. Well, apparently yellow just dropped off my radar completely somehow in that I have no yellow. So when I went to start mixing up more shred after that first bunch that I already had from another one, I was like, there's no yellow. It took me a while to, to uh, adjust to it, but I decided it wasn't worth the rush of trying to get it in, that we'd be fine. And so again, a soap sample and the invoice. This time I am writing 
on it, the pack and chat of which number it is. So that is helpful for those that get their order. Maybe they'll get it before I put any up, but we'll see. We will see. And the paper, I don't know if you can really see it very well, but the paper is a, like a gemstone paper and it just has a little sparkle to it and it does reflect rainbow. I just thought it was pretty. I thought it was lovely. All right, so we have another done. This order is going to Sheila in North Carolina. Thank you for your order, Sheila. And we have a butterfly gift set that has a soap and a bath bomb and a sugar scrub and also a special little a butterfly rainbow whoops here we go dealio from flower pick from jody according around super cute set absolutely love it i'm going to Put that down in. Put the heavy duty paper over that there. Good. I'm going to slide a little bit of shred so it doesn't shift too much. And then we have a Fruity Loops wax melt. We have the Rainbow Pear Bears, super cute and adorable wax melts. And then we have a Fruity Sprinkles bath bomb. And it just smells so good. And I've already had a request for it to be made into a soap, so I think that would be fun. It's a very fruity blend. Yes, that's good. Let me think of what is over here. That's the bath bomb side. Let's do, let's switch that around and let this rest on a little bit more solid place. Going to put some shred around everything. So pretty. going to put in a pina colada wax melt sample that brittle turned out so pretty look how gorgeous that is I love it I love it I will put that there and then just put a little more shred on the top we have our soap sample and the invoice and then this one will be ready to head off to North Carolina. Can't remember if I mentioned it or not, but my son is actually running all the packages directly to the post office. We're not waiting for them to be picked up at all. So that is great. I actually restarted my very first order, so I don't actually remember if there were some things that I said, and I don't know if I've repeated them yet or not. So. Sometimes you just have to start over because I fumble over myself and my words sometimes. This order is going to Shannon in California. Thank you for your order, Shannon. And we're going to use another one of these cube boxes from the post office. I just love this mailing box. It's such a nice one. So we're going to put in a rainbow fusion and a sunshine in rainbows. Waiting for, there we go. Put that in. We have a rainbow mint chip. Let's see, let's do these ones next. We have a neon rainbow and a rainbow succulent. Nice. Going to put in a rainbow mint chip. Love that one. Smells so good. 
And then we have another Huckleberry Fluff. Gonna get it all wrapped up. Like so, and then it'll fit right there. Let's see, where do we want to put this salt soap? I think we're gonna put this salt soap, well, well salt soap, right here. That way we have a nice flat spot for the wax melts to go. And then in with the wax melts. I just love this glitter that's on the top. We're gonna go, we're zooming way in here, hopefully. I love that glitter. It makes me so happy. We're gonna step away slowly. <laughs> hopefully it's focused. I just love these wax melts so much. Oh, they smell so good. Amazing. Get those all snug as a bug in a rug. Just a hint more because I don't want it to. Well, let's put the wax melt in underneath. So we have the wax melt sample. Put him there. And the soap sample. Invoice and the business card. And then this one is going to be off to California. This order is going to Lori in Texas. Thank you for your order, Lori. And I am using a box that I have purchased for this order. It is a 754. And I bought little taller boxes for this time because of the sugar scrubs. And I just wanted them to be have a little bit more height. And I can actually fit quite a bit more soap in these. But I did run, run out of my 753s. And so sometimes some of the boxes are had to be a little bit big, but that's just the way it is. We have a rainbow and a neon rainbow soap. Nice. We have a pink grapefruit and a melon and cucumber soap. The melon cucumber did so well. I think just because it was new. The new ones always do the best. And then we have a Chasing Rainbows as well. So good. Love it. I'm going to go ahead and put the soap sample, tuck it in right in there. And then we're going to just get some shred in there so it doesn't wiggle too much. invoice and business card. And then this will be the last order for this part one video. I hope that you are enjoying the pack and chat so far and stay tuned for part two.